ating ano ang trending. Meron na naman tayong makakasama na talaga namang inaabangan ng lahat. Yes, napakaraming fans, napakaraming kinikilig sila ngayon sa kanila ngayon, 'di ba? And nakilala of course natin sila bilang uh, sina Calix and uh, Luna sa online series na The Rain in España na napapanood din of course sa TV5 at sa Viva One. Hoy, meron na akong card ng Viva One. Wow! Binigyan ako ng ano ng card so napapanood natin 'yan. At ngayon ay eh, mapapanood din sila sa episode ng For the Love and sa kanilang aabangan na upcoming film na The Ship Show. Let us all welcome first time dito sa tag 91.1 Marco Gallo and Heaven Peralejo. Come on guys. Hello guys. Hello everyone. Hello Maria and hello Johnny. <laughs> Kamusta kayong dalawa kanina bago tayo magsimula? Akala namin naghang yung internet nila sa Pilipinas. <laughs> oh, oh. Hindi po nagtititigan silang dalawa. Anong meron? Na record po namin 'yan. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Pero mag-ask tayo ng ano permission sa Viva. Pwede bang iano 'yan? I-upload pa? para para <laughs> record 'yon. <laughs> para para kiligin lalo yung fans, 'di ba? <laughs> Actually sa media ko nila the other day, kahapon yata or the other day, 'di ba? And sobrang dami din kinikilig. And you know what? Um, Heaven Marco, sinecheck ko actually yung mga videos nyo, pati yung um, interview nyo kahapon. Sobrang dami, no? Ng mga comments ng mga followers ninyo. Sabi nitong si at just M. L. Have comment niya sa uh, vlog ni Heaven um, five days ago. Invested ako sa love team na to. Talagang merong chemistry. ba? Diba? And uh, marami pa no na mga nagsasabi ng mga iba't ibang comments dito. Pero siguro medyo backtrack muna tayo ng konti. Kasi mm. of course, alam ng marami na nasubaybayan kayo sa Pinoy Big Brother. ba? Diba? Um, together dalawa. So, we wanna know ano yung first impressions ninyo sa isa't isa nung una nyong nakita yung isa't isa uh, during PBB. First impression ko ng PBB, oh yes, guwapo. Guwapo. Bata pa lang, guwapo na siya eh. And ano, mabait siya ka sweet sa lahat. Matulungin. Ikaw? I remember um, the very first memory that I have of heaven is um, the way that the girls entered the house was one day after us. And uh, there was like the maletas outside of in the garden their luggages they were they were outside and and there was just the names on it and i really remember that the first maleta i saw was because it was in order and from the very right side coming outside of the house you you see the name heaven and i remember that it was a, a name that intrigued me from the very first time i remember that clearly um And then, yeah, and then I saw her and, well, she's actually the first one that caught my eye. But then she didn't, you know, <laughs> she didn't like me back. So. <laughs> ganyan naman minsan sa simula eh. Uh, uh, yes. Minsan ganyan eh. Pero um, I wanna know then just a follow up na yung communication nyo ba after the that uh, particular season, nagpatuloy pa ba or medyo nawala na ng konti? Wala. As in after, Best friends kasi kami sa loob ng bahay ni Kuya. And then, paglabas namin, wala na. Hindi na kami. Hindi <laughs> 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 ko alam. And I think kasi dahil bata kami noon, ang dami nangyayari. So many changes in our lives. And so, we didn't see each other for seven years. And sakto, ayan, binigyan kami ng project. And nakakatuwa kasi, lagi kong sineshare to sa mga interviews, how destiny just works. Kasi, yung pangalan ng PBB namin was Lucky Season 7. And then, seven years after, nag-meet ulit kami. And yung characters namin, which is si Luna and Calix, uh, may ganong storya din, na parang less than, in less than parang 10 years, nag-meet din sila. So, let's say 5 to 10 years, ganyan. So, it's been a long time, you know. And, ayun. You know what I love? about this story is that every single time she's so excited to say it yeah. and then and every, oh, time, every time she shines every time she says it you know she's like you know you know it's a beautiful story because actually Totoo. Then, marami ding following partner at the same time. And uh, both of you nag-audition, di, di ba, for, ano, for these roles. Um, tama yung sinabi ni, ano, ni Heaven kanina kasi uh, I was reading an article sa credit lang natin, uh, Philippine Daily Inquirer. No? Sabi dito, it was no 
I'm quoting ah. It was no secret that Marco Gallo had a crush on Heaven Peralejo during their time in Pinoy Big Brother or PBB House in 2016 but nothing really came of it before long kasi they lost touch with, with each other. End of quote. So ngayon, since uh, ginawa nyo yung ano da rin in Espanya, gusto naming malaman while or after, after doing da rin in Espanya, masasabi nyo bang nag-fade yung feelings na yon or mas lumalim pa? Marco? Uh, you wanna get me, huh? <laughs> no, I think what I can say is that, like you said earlier, uh, it was we, you know, we lost touch of each other. But I think one one thing I not that I can promise, but I, I don't know. I just have this feeling that I'm sure of um, that we're not gonna lose touch of each other. I don't think so. No, di ba seven years kayo yung hindi nagkita, di ba? Nung pagkikita nyo ba after seven years, masasabi nyo ba na may pagbabagong naganap na mas malaki compared before nung nasa PBB pa kayo? Na parang dati si Heaven ganito, dati si Marco ganito, pero ngayon ibang-iba na. Kasi dati, di ba, mas bata pa kayo eh. Ngayon, mas mature na kayo, iba na yung takbo ng buhay. Yes, definitely, definitely. Sobrang layo na no, Marco na namit ko ng PBB. And then ngayon, I think yung pinaka... Pinaka same lang nung baby Marco and matured Marco was being sweet and thoughtful and caring. And but other than that, parang he really grew um, in a good way. And you know, as in sobrang sobrang dami mo na matututunan sa kanya kasi noon way back parang sure kulit kulit lang ano yung bata lang. Pero ngayon he's he has this wisdom and Yeah. Tapos na papangiti si Marco sa mga sinasabi ni Heaven. Ikaw Marco, ano masasabi mo kay Heaven after seven years? That it's still the same. You know, the very first time I saw her, I remember, I remember telling myself, and I, I was even telling her a couple of times, right? I that like, remember when I first saw you? I feel like I was so enchanted. I was, I was like. In PBB. Yeah, you were just like the prettiest Filipino I've seen. And then, <laughs> you know, and then like I always come on, I always tell you that like within all the Asians that you see on Instagram or at anything, like I feel like they're the prettiest one. Right? Like n- not just prettiest, you have like this charm that like <laughs> just oh drives me. And nuts. the talent. And the talent, of course. Yeah, diba? and, like, actually I recall the Um, even earlier when we were in another interview, uh, I really felt it when she said that um, eventually she grew into acting. Like she's so passionate about it. Like that's that's what she wants. And because I like that, because I'm so passionate about it as well, hearing another person feeling the exact same way about something that I like personally, I don't know. It's it's impressive. You know, it's it's nice. Yeah, and nakaka proud at the same time. We're happy sa ano sa mga nominations and projects nyo both then at the same time. No? Pero ito balik tayo sa The Rain in Espanya kasi talagang ito yung sobrang tinutukan yes. ng iba eh. Oo. Nung in, nung napakarami ay Mino. So nung ininform kayo na ibibigay sa inyo itong roles na Luna and Calex, ano yung mas na feel ninyong dalawa? Is it more of excitement or pressure given na maraming followers yung Wattpad story nito? Definitely both. I uh was so excited and I was so pressured at the same time. And me and Marco were talking about it. Actually, the whole cast were talking about it. Um, but I am. What do you think? Um, <clears throat> of course, yeah, like she said, everyone was pressured. Um, everyone had a little bit a little bit of tension within them. But me personally, it was... I don't know. I, I don't really think that way. It was more of Um, you know, I have a script. It's a project, the usual. Just go on set prepared and have a good time. You know, uh, say the lines, learn them, rehearse them at home. And then once you go on set, nothing else matters than just you guys. You know, if you're doing a scene where you guys are telling each other how much you guys love each other, then be there, be present. Yeah. Um, actually, parang nagdrive pa ngayon na mas galingan talaga namin. Eh. Yeah. So mas naging focused kami talaga dun sa project and yun binigay namin yung mga puso at 
ano namin at puso <laughs> namin sa yeah. isang isa ano sa sa ano yun sa, sa project so, ano, sa ayun na lilito din ako na project minigay ko tulad si sa kaka kasi kung may may friendship na kayo na buo before tapos nagsama kayo sa isang project It's Hindi easier, no? Eh. Mas easier magtrabaho yeah. talaga eh. Uh, it, Saka yung easier. chemistry nandun eh. Correct. Dito pa lang, di ba? Hindi pa nga to, ano eh, shooting, di ba? Pero kitang-kita mo na. Mm-hmm. Ah. Mm-hmm. Kanina ang lalakit ng tinginan, oo. <laughs> oo, pero ito gusto namin tanongin since ang dami yung projects na sunod-sunod actually ngayon, no? So kung kayo pipili, blockbuster projects ba or acting awards? Acting awards. Acting awards. Yeah. Why? Because like, You know, if it's a blockbuster, that means it's sold, and it sold a lot of you know copies. I don't know how you call it. So, but besides, it's sold a lot. When it's acting awards, is it's an honor. Yes, it's like it's a, it's pride. I think it's the biggest thing you can get out of your career. Out, out of your career, because it means you're doing something right, and it's being recognized. All of your sweat and tears at the side. And I think that's more important than knowing how much a movie sold or not. Yeah. Right. Na maipagbamalaki mm. mo rin at the same time. Yes. So ngayon, anong role naman ang gusto ninyo na itry sa susunod na mga gagawin ninyong projects? Ooh, I want action. Yeah? Yeah. Like Mission Impossible. Ako yung girl kasi ko yung head up. Tumapalo. Ikaw yung nakakapal kay Marco, no? <laughs> Hindi, ako yung ka-partner mo, natutulungan kita. Yung paganda. Ah, okay. So, yung paganda lang. Kasi kayo nga hamon. Hindi ko kaya ko. <laughs> yeah, Interesting. Sure. Kung yeah. sakasakalik action naman, diba? Oo, oh, action. Mga, ano na, mga, ang gaganda ng damit namin. Ganun. And you know why, guys? Uh, I think, I don't know if you know, but I, I did action before and I actually love it because there's not a lot of line. It's all camera shots and it's all like you moving left to right, doing literally actions. And I just, you know, I love acting, but at the same time, studying a lot of lines is, it's a big responsibility. So instead of lines, you bring actions and you bring emotions and, you know, few words and boom. You know, it's, you know, it's like, I don't know, I think right, uh, it's cool. Tsaka just to add in siguro, kasi uh, you're from uh, Italy, Marco, right? So parang yes. siguro mag um, parang yung project na alam mo doon naman is shoot. Mm-mm. Sa kung kung well, saan uh, yes, yes, yeah, one more time. because we are manifesting that. <laughs> yeah, that would be interesting kung yes. sa sakali. Yes, oo. At may bago nga naman kayong movie, 'di ba, na ship show na ipapalabas sa August 9 and meron din kayong For the Love. So ano nga ba ang meron dito? And please invite yung ating mga kababayan para suportahan at panoorin ito. Hello po mga kababayan! Iniimbitahan po namin kayo ni Marco Galo na manood po ng For the Love. Actually, ano po yan eh? Mini-series, bagong mini-series sa TV5 starting po this July 29, 3.20 p.m. And kami po ang first episode which is called Kahit Kailan. It is directed by Ice Edana. Napakagandang story po. mai in love at mai in love po kayo all over again. Um... Regarding naman po sa August 9, yeah. sa August 9, first film po namin ni Marco Gallo together. Um, it's called The Ship Show. It is directed by... Jason Paul Luxemana. Yes. And it's gonna be shown nationwide. So I hope, I hope na supportahan po ninyo itong dalawang projects and coming. Para matagal pa tayo makita. <laughs> right. And you know what? Sa sakto sa bakasyon namin ni Maria Maldita kasi we'll be there uh, yes, in the Philippines, Philippines para sa one, one month vacation. No? Kasi saktong sa, saktong when? sakto. So, when? August? Uh, August. For, yes, yes. This yes. August. So papanoorin natin. Can you come to the premiere? Yeah. Let, let's let's try let's try <laughs> let's share contacts later and then and then let's see let's make sure that you guys are at the premiere 
Yeah. Sure, yeah. sige, sige, sige. So, yan nga po muli, uh, bago natin makalimutan, ay uh, mula, of course, sa uh, writer and director ng mga blockbuster uh, films din. Uh, uh, isang daang tula para kay Estela, Expensive Candy, Baby Boy, Baby Girl, Just a Stranger, na si Direct Jason Paul Laksamana, na idol namin yan. So, abangan po natin, of course, ang uh, The Ship Show. Maraming maraming salamat, Marco and Heaven. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Tag 91.1. Pinoy talaga!